here, what I'm going to do is attempt to machine off the nickel plating on this vintage Smith & Wesson shotgun shelf. Of course, it's not the whole shell. It's already been rendered inert. And uh, so, I'm going to touch off here. Get the old hat turned around backwards. Let's touch off and get my zeros uh, up here. Get a zero. Set my absolute. All right. Now get my zero this way. Middle. We're going to come out and we're going to set it at about zero. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set my compound at a 45 degree and use the compound to push in because I should be able to push in at, actually I'm gonna have to reset my zeros now. Duh! I'm gonna set my compound at 45. And that's going to allow me to push in at, I, I don't know, I think that it's around a half a thousandth. Uh, what it does is it cuts, I'm pretty sure it's 45, but either way it's gonna give me my uh, desired outcome, but it cuts your adjustment in half. Whereas, if I was coming in either direction, if I was going this way or this way, uh, with either one of these traveling straight down one of the axes, by putting this at a 45, you have cut that travel in half, pretty much. So while you're moving at a different at a slant, the rate at which you're moving down either axis decreases. I hope that I explained that in a easy way to understand there. Let's see. Get our zeros again. Back this off a little. We'll set it to zero. Now we'll come in here, I'll touch off. Zero. Zero everything out. Okay, now I'll zoom in and we'll see if this works. In this shotgun shell, you're going to see it in an upcoming project that's going to be absolutely beautiful. I've got a few of these in case I <laughs> tear one of them up, but these are rare shells, Smith & Wesson shells. So, uh, they're, they're rare. All right, now what I'm going to do, right now I'm at zero. I'm going to come back uh, 1,000 back. I'm going to see if I touch anywhere. Okay, now I use my compound to come in on it.
start messing with a couple of settings for it. Problem is, is that that old thing may not be <laughs> plated brass. Hmm. That'd be very interesting if it's not nickel plated. Huh. Sorry for the back of my head there. Sorry for that shot. Well, you learn something every day. And what it appears, as you can see there, that it is not... That's not brass underneath there. So... That's pretty neat. Well, I'll get another one. And what we'll do is I'll just have to Cerakote it. Because I want it to have a brass look. So that'll look good. Well, you learn something every day. <laughs>